it's morning time and we've got a new item to check out today and review it's the 0.9 liter camping kettle so it's 0.9 liters it's five and a half by three and a half tall and it's made out of anodized aluminum we're going to unbox this thing I've got a little fire started over here in the dog bowl fire pit and we're going to see what it's all about. So right off of the bat, the packaging is good. Okay. It comes in a nice little carrying bag wrapped in plastic. The lid is plastic itself, and it has a vent hole, so I guess pressure won't build up, but how could pressure build up if you're relieving pressure through the spout? So that's a good question, but I guess the engineers thought that was the right thing to do. So here we have it. It's pretty thin wall. It has a line that says max, so I guess that's as much as you can fill it. The handle stays wherever you put it. And the handle is wrapped with plastic, I guess, so you don't burn yourself. And it has a little pour spout. Not a very big one, but I guess for a kettle this size, you don't need one. And there we have the logo, Red Camp. Now, I was looking at the outside of the box, and I took it out earlier, and I didn't find any instructions, and I said, why would they send something and not have instructions? Now, this is crazy. Here are your instructions on the box. It tells you that you can use it on this type of stove. You can use it on this type of stove, or this type of stove, or this type of stove. But if you look really close, it says, oh no, don't hang it over a campfire. Well, it didn't mention anything about that in the description on Amazon. And that's what I intend to do with it, is use it on a campfire. Matter of fact, you can see my fire going back there in my dog bowl fire pit this morning. That's exactly what I'm fixing to do with it. I'm going to let that fire burn down to some coals. And we're going to see if we can boil some water in here and make some tea. How about that? I'll be right back after I go wash this pot. Okay, we got some good coals burning in the dog bowl fire pit. Put my little cooking grate on top of there. Got some good coals in the fire. Let's put the red camp on there. See what happens. Three and one half minutes later, I've got a wonderful little rolling bowl and steam coming all out of that thing. Let's go ahead and make this cup of green tea. Yeah, I like green tea. And I like it straight up. Just like I like black coffee. So we'll grab this. Okay. The plastic on the handle works very well. There's our boiling hot water. But we've got a nice hot cup of green tea. So that, my friends, is the Red Camp kettle. Now, the question remains, would I purchase this again? Hmm. I am impressed with it enough that yes, for the price of $11.99, I would purchase it again. 